Hey guys, so in today's video, I am finally getting around to it. I know it is long overdue, but I am going to be doing the Army Approved makeup. The makeup that I usually wear while I'm in uniform. Um, for those who are clicked on this video and don't actually know me, um, I am in the Army National Guard and um, I like to do videos here and there about um, like stuff like this to help kind of inform people or um, just to share my experiences and my tips and tricks um, that have helped me out through my journey. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do this um, and if you're interested in seeing how I got, how I do my makeup for the ARMY um, with ARMY approved, then just keep watching. Alright, so the first thing I like to start out with is primer and I look like I've used all of my primer, but I love the Smashbox Primer Water. Um, it's not like amazing like great it was $32 I think and I would not recommend going out and getting it like because it's not like amazing but I like it because it just kind of hydrates my face and let's see if I can get some out of here I don't know oh 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 whatever oh oh okay well usually I like to kind of spritz my face and kind of wet it a little bit and get some type of moisture in it okay so the first thing I'm going to start out with is my is my or are my are my eyebrows um, I love to do my eyebrows and because it just I feel like I could go out literally and um, not do the rest of my makeup and just have my eyebrows look decent um, when I'm in a hurry I will always go to this uh, eyebrow pencil is the best way to go um, usually I'm in a hurry because I'm the type of person I like to sleep as late as I can. Um, so, and like if we're out doing a mission or something, like I am not going to sit here and do my eyebrows. It take a long time, so I'll do this. It literally takes me maybe five minutes for the whole thing. Um, if I really want to like take the time to do my makeup, if I have like, like an hour or so to do it, not an hour, maybe like 30 minutes, I will go in with this Anastasia brow pomade dip brow pomade and this I think is from covergirl I got this from the PX like when I was in AIT like a while ago um a lot of people have asked me um what how do you like know what the right are regulations are for uh, makeup and AR 670-1 is what it's called army regulation 670 670-1 tell you will tell you everything you need to know about any kind of regulation regarding like your appearance so hair nails makeup everything um, and you can look it up you can just google it and find it there okay so usually I don't overdraw them or anything I just kind of fill in like where it's sparse I like to start on the top like this I like to start like on the top and kind of outline my brow and what color is this this is the color ebony I kind of just outline it a little bit and I actually need to pluck my eyebrows clean but yeah so I just kind of outline it like that on each of the my eyes all right so I try not to pay too much close attention to like making it super perfect and I'll just go back and kind of like use the spoolie brush and shape them a little bit better because I don't want to add too much product for obvious reasons so it doesn't look so overdrawn but yeah I just kind of like to fill in the sparse areas a little bit sometimes I'll outline it with concealer before I put on my foundation to kind of clean up clean it up a little bit to make it a little bit more crisp so then I go on with foundation now sometimes I'll use a beauty sponge if I have enough time and I'll show you what I'm talking about sponge right here this is dirty I need to clean it but I'll use this this is from real techniques and then um, if I'm in a hurry or if I just don't feel like using it I'll use this brush and this goes so fast super fast I usually use like a drugstore foundation. I don't like to use my high-end foundation because I'm going to sweat through it usually. So I will go between either this CoverGirl, CoverGirl Clean um, foundation. This is in the color Tawny and it looks like this. Or I will do the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation for oily skin. And this is in the color 
toffee and I'll probably end up using both of these today because I haven't used this in a while and it's kind of light for me yeah it's kind of light for me this is the kind of I start with my cheeks first because I have a lot of scarring there from previous acne flare-ups and I'm just dipping in there I just like these because it's really good coverage but it looks really natural but yeah so let me add a little bit more <laughs> and then I'll just pat it in a little bit go all over I do the eyes I don't use a primer for my eyes because there's really no point yeah so I don't really pay that much attention to covering up everything because when I really just don't care like no one really cares like honestly like my battle buddies do not care about if I I'm showing a pimple or have acne scars like no one cares about that but I just like to give myself like a little bit of coverage just a teensy bit of coverage just to look one to look awake because formation I'll be looking dead sometimes and like it's literally that easy and then I'll just set it with a powder okay so I'm just gonna use this benefit hello flawless um, powder it's from the color nutmeg just like this I've used this before this is actually the last the one that I used in my um, last video and I'll just lightly dust it over this just to set it so it kind of I don't get as sweaty on the face and that's literally it and then sometimes I'll go in with this powder just kind of spit on top it just makes you look a little bit more awake I guess that's it um, I used to do eyeliner but now I don't really do eyeliner anymore um, I like to focus more on my um, eyelashes so sometimes I'll use this um, Maybelline big lash this was one of my favorites like a long time ago but um, now I just use um, sometimes I'll use the elf one but I do like the um, the brush on this one on the Maybelline so I'll dip it in the elf thing I like the elf formula better than the Maybelline formula if that makes sense so I'll just take it out like this and dip this one this side in there and then I'll just go to town. Yeah, so I'll just kind of go through with it. This is actually kind of thick. that's it um for lips um you're not allowed to wear a lipstick or lip gloss I mean you can wear lip gloss but it has to be like the clear lip gloss I'll just use a chapstick that's really all you need and this is the classic the classic original chapstick and let's do this and I usually apply this all day every day I keep it on me all the time that's it that's literally it doesn't take that long all right guys so that's basically it for this tutorial thing um it really doesn't take that much effort into doing your makeup for the military because you're really not allowed to wear that much makeup for the military um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you have any more questions about like ar670-1 or any questions about makeup in general i will just leave it down below and i will definitely um get back with you on it I also have a email that you can send me questions about anything army related it's in the description box it's always there it's always been there um, you can email me there um, if you have any further questions I literally will answer anything like any embarrassing question you could ever have like I I will answer I've done it always always have done it and I always will um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in my next video bye guys